Using breakout rooms in Adobe Connect. About breakout rooms. Breakout rooms is a feature in Adobe Connect that allows you to divide your class into groups, each with its own private room for group work. Important things to know about breakout rooms. A maximum of five rooms may be created. Less can be used if desired. Students are automatically promoted to presenter status when breakout rooms begin in order to give them the necessary rights share documents and access audio video for the respective room. Breakout rooms are not recorded. Students are responsible for saving their work. However, breakout room panels are saved until reset and can be pulled up in others' layouts, example, to share a group's work with the class. You have to be inside a room to communicate with students using audio or video. When breakout rooms are first created, they use the same layout as the one currently active. You may elect to design a custom layout dedicated to breakout room activities and switch to this layout before starting the breakout rooms. Assigning participants to groups. Before you can initiate breakout rooms, you need to switch to breakout room view by clicking the middle icon in the attendees panel. This will pull up a list of the attendees categorized by breakout room. By default, everyone is in the main meeting room. Before you start to assign participants to rooms, ensure that you have the correct number of rooms. The maximum is five. To add a room, click the plus button. To remove a room, click the X corresponding to the appropriate room. There are two ways of assigning participants to rooms, randomly or manually. To randomly distribute participants evenly across the created rooms, click the shuffle button. To manually assign participants, click their name to bring up the context menu and then click the desired room to place them. Please note that at this point the breakout activity has not started and everyone is still in the main meeting room. You are only assigning people to rooms. Starting breakout rooms. Since breakout rooms will use the same layout as the one currently active, it's advisable to switch to the collaboration layout or a custom designed layout to provide the groups with the panels they need. For example, share, whiteboard, files, chat, attendees, notes, etc. Once participants have been assigned to rooms, click the Start Breakouts button to begin the breakout activity. You will see a message confirming that the activity has started. Broadcasting a message. When the breakout rooms are active, you need to be inside a breakout room to communicate with participants using audio or video. You may, however, send a message to everyone by clicking Broadcast Message from the Attendee Options menu. Ending Breakout Rooms Before you conclude the breakout activity, alert the participants by broadcasting a message to them. It's good practice to give a 5-minute and 1-minute warning to allow for wrap-up and saving work. When you're ready to bring everyone back to the main meeting room, click End Breakouts in the Attendee panel. Don't be confused if participant names still appear underneath their respective room. This only refers to which room the participant is assigned. For this reason, switch back to the standard Attendee view by clicking the icon in the Attendee panel. If you begin the breakout rooms again, they will use the layout they were initially started with. You'll need to remove all of the rooms in order to clear out information and reset room layouts. Accessing Breakout Room Panels you can share work from a breakout room with the entire class by clicking the pods menu, selecting breakout pods and the desired room, and then clicking the panel that you'd like to pull up. Removing and resetting breakout rooms. Breakout rooms will use the layout that they were initially started with until they are reset or removed. This is handy if you have multiple breakout rooms activities for the same groups within a single class. You may, however, want to start another breakout activity, perhaps with different groups, and reset the breakout room layouts. To do so, click Remove All Rooms from the Attendee Options menu. You have the options of preserving the breakout room panels if you want to keep students' work for future use. If you do so, name the session appropriately, perhaps by date, lecture number, or topic, so that it is easy to reference later.